going on guys? I'm Ryan here from Student Aesthetics and in today's video I want to show you three different movements that you can do in order to bring up your upper chest. Um, the upper chest is a very aesthetic muscle. Um, next to your shoulder is probably the most aesthetic muscle. But a lot of guys are lacking it and a lot of people are more developing their lower chest. Um, because the bench press is usually the most commonly talked exercise when we talk about chest activation um, and chest training. So I want to show you three different movements that you can do. Let's start off with the first one. So the first exercise I want to show you guys is actually one of my favorite um, isolation exercises for the upper pecs and it's called the reverse grip incline dumbbell press. Now this is an exercise you do not see very often um, but it's very great in activation and what you basically do is you do a regular incline dumbbell press but you keep your hands supinated instead of pronated. Okay, So usually you have your hands like this, now you have them down with your palms facing upwards and you basically press the weight up just as you would regularly um, but it feels pretty weird um, and I prefer to do this with the dumbbells because if you do it with a barbell it will hurt your wrists a little bit for some people so this is an exercise that doesn't feel very comfortable at first but you will definitely feel that squeeze in your upper chest and certain research actually shows that there is 30% more upper chest activation on this exercise while regular dumbbell incline presses actually have 5% more activation on your upper pegs so on the peg minor whether the studies are representable or not is not really sure because there are not that many studies done on this um, but you can definitely feel it and it's a great accessory movement uh, for the upper chest so the second exercise I want to show you guys is actually the neutral grip incline dumbbell press um, so you do the same thing but now with a neutral grip and this exercise is basically for people who experience shoulder discomfort or who have had like a shoulder injury in the past um, because when you use a neutral grip you will activate a little less of your shoulder and you will put a little bit more stress on your triceps instead of your shoulder um, so this will be mainly hitting your chest and triceps and a little bit less of the shoulder so this is basically for people who have um, shoulder discomfort or people who have had a shoulder injury in the past because if you can do a regular incline dumbbell press that will activate more muscle fibers because you can use a lot more weight so I really wanted to show this exercise to you guys that have a shoulder discomfort and shoulder injury because this can really help you to activate your upper chest um, while not having the shoulder discomfort because a lot of people do have that on a regular incline bench press or a regular incline dumbbell press. Now the third exercise I want to show you guys is incline cable flies. This is also one of my favorite isolation exercises for the chest and um, what basically is the difference between this and a incline dumbbell fly is the constant tension on the chest. And when you do an incline dumbbell fly, you have like this little pause at the top where the tension kind of gets off the chest and puts onto your shoulder. Um, but when you do it with the cables, the tension is constantly on your chest. And I highly recommend to do this with a little bit of higher reps and also preferably as your last exercise for your chest. So probably around 10 to 50 reps is what I like to do. And you can definitely feel that squeeze, you can feel that pump. Um, and just make sure that you retract your shoulder blades just like you do on every single exercise for the chest that I've shown you guys today. Always squeeze your shoulder blades together, um, retract your scapula before you lay down on the bench. So these are the three exercises I wanted to show you guys and these are some exercises that you do not see very often in the gym but that are very useful for targeting the upper chest. Um, so I highly suggest you guys to try this out. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel as always. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. And I'm um, gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now for my next number, I'd like to return to the class.